Okay, let's see how we can make this one go. Oh, we're still on the old settings. I'm just going to reset it. There you go. <laughs> That's what you do when you when you beat when you beat the auto clear to the punch. You do that. So this one's going to be a large one. Let's see how we go with this. Okay, um, add some contrast, drop the copy density, sharpness up, I think that's pretty much what we want. Let's see what we've got, we got here, a mid-year sale pamphlet, it's a huge size, it's like almost like a newspaper. I don't think that's going to quite even fit on the glass if we want to fit it on the glass. It's bigger than A3. Look at that. It's bigger than the glass. So I'm wondering how we're going to make this work. We're going to have to spin it round big time. Let's see how we go with this. This big job. Okay. We spun it. Let's see how it comes out. I was actually thinking this side would be better, but we've just done that side. So this is our front side we're doing. So let's see how we've done with the front side. Well, that looks quite interesting. I think we can turn that one into a, into a mirror imaged job. I'm just gonna throw the original aside and we're going, I'm wondering if we're gonna make this into a mirror image once again. So we're just gonna get this. We're gonna which way are we gonna put the we're gonna put the seam that way. So let's see how we go with this. First things first, we're just gonna put it on copied paper. Then we've got to remove the enlargement and set it to a hundred. Then we've got to go here and take it off the lightest setting. We're just gonna, we're still gonna be light, but it's not gonna be as light. So we're just gonna, hopefully this will mean, minimize the chance of curling. So I'm just moving my other originals away from the work area, so, or the bed actually, it's not actually a work area, but anyway, it's ma makeshift. <laughs> so let's see how this one goes. So this will be our first quadrant for the four piece mirror image. Okay, let's see how that looks. It looks faint, but it's different. So I'm wondering, I think this is going to be the centerpiece, where the center of the job is. So that's our first quadrant. It's very faint. So we just don't want the thing to curl, if we can avoid it. But normally our images are a lot darker anyway. It's nice to do something a bit different for a change. Okay, that's our second uh, quadrant. So that's gonna go up here. So that's our shitty little uh, pharmacy pamphlet currently being converted into a work of art, or at least the copies are the work of art. <laughs> the original's just the source object, the original original. Anyway, enough of that. I'm gonna go mirror image, switch on. Okay, close, and then we're just gonna hit we're meant to hit off two copies, not one. So I'm just wondering if we're just going to stop the job and we're just going to go back and we're going to smash in two copies just to make it quicker. Okay, finish and then start three-step Konica Minolta patented process, you could say. I'm being facetious here. I don't know if they've actually put a patent on this kind of operation, but if they had, they're pr pretty stupid fucking idiots. <laughs> they are idiots. Konica Minolta is an idiot company full of idiots. Anyway, that's our mirror images. It's our first or whatever. And that's, our, that's the other one. So we're just going to stick them in the corners with the, 
the first two quadrants. They're still curling though, but it's not as bad as what it has been in the past recently. And that's our fourth quadrant, just gently coaxing it into position. Hopefully it'll be coaxed enough into position, good enough. So we just line it up with that one. And here we go. There's our pharmacy pamphlet, reimagined.